Oh my God. I just put my hair down after it being up for like two days straight. And uh, yeah, we have our work cut out for us for this first product, that's for sure. So the first product that we are gonna be testing out is this Hydrating Argan Oil Mask. This is from the brand Arvazalia. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, like normal. But this is a premium argan oil infused hair treatment that deeply hydrates, conditions, and transforms your hair by improving its texture, manageability, and shine. It's 100% sulfate free and paraben free, and it also helps to strengthen your hair and protect it from heat damage. So, as you can tell, I am in desperate need of, for one, a wash, but two, a deep, nourishing, hydrating treatment. So this couldn't have come at a better time. So I paid $12.95 for this. It has 8.45 fluid ounces of product in it, and it gets 4.5 out of five stars on Amazon with 34,000 reviews. So that is a lot of people loving this product. So I'm hoping that I will love it too. And yeah, so let's go ahead and do a smell test. Ooh. Okay, okay, I can work with that. So that is a very clean, it's a very, very light smell, but it smells very clean. So for any reason you don't like it, it's not that strong. So to use this, you apply it to clean shampooed hair, leave it on for five to seven minutes, and then rinse it out, and you can use this one to two times weekly. This is what my hair is looking like now. And um, yeah, we can only go up from here, right? So I'm gonna go test this out and then I will check back in with you guys after. All right, so feeling so much better right now. My hair is very hydrated feeling, very smooth and silky. I like the fact that the consistency was thick enough to feel hydrating, but not enough that I feel like it's gonna weigh my hair down. Also, a little bit went a long way. So I know a lot of times when I use a deep conditioner or a conditioner in general, I put it on and I just feel like it kind of disappears. Like this was not the case with this one. I put it on and I felt like I could use very little of this, which is good, so it means it's just gonna last for a long time. Also, I I appreciate so much the five to seven minute time frame that you're supposed to leave this on. The ones that you need to leave in for 20, 30 minutes, like that's that's a little too much, you know? So we're going to blow dry the hair, but first we're gonna use our next product that we're testing out, which is the L'Oreal Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. This is a three day sleek plus 450 degree protection. So this is just your heat protectant spray. It also says it not only helps from heat damage, but calms frizz, seals in shine, blocks humidity and conditions for a sleek style that lasts three days. So this is $5 right now. It's on sale for $3.97, so that's, a really really good deal for a heat protectant spray so this one was rated 4.5 out of 5 stars and it has 39,000 reviews and this is unscented too which is nice because a lot of hair products that are scented yeah it smells good but it can be drying for your hair so you have to be careful of that so we'll go ahead and spray that in first and we'll see how everything looks together all right, so this is what it's looking like after I have blow dried it and I just went over it quickly with the flat iron. It's looking so much better for one, but it feels really good. It feels soft and smooth. It's got a lot more shine to it and my hair does not feel weighed down at all. So I think we're off to a good start with these products. For the flat iron spray, I wanna check back in with you guys after the three day mark and see how my hair is looking, see if it's looking still sleek and smooth like it promises that it will. So I'll check back in with you guys on that, but yeah, so far, we're doing good. So the next top selling Amazon product that we're gonna be testing out is this John Frieda Volume Lift Thickening Spray. This is a root boosting lift for all over fullness and it has air silk technology for fine or flat hair. So this product is $7.47 on Amazon. It is on a sale right now, so I guess originally it is $9.49. It's safe to use on color treated hair and it's supposed to give volume and a weightless root boost with touchable movement and bounce. Okay, so I may or may not have sprayed entirely too much, but we'll see how it looks. I'm looking for volume, guys. I'm looking for volume. The only other product that I'm gonna be using is the heat protectant that we are testing out as well. So that's all the products I'm gonna use. I probably will go in with the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. This is for straight hair. I'm doing a whole review on this product as well whole another video. I'll leave it linked below if it's out, but yeah, so let's blow dry this hair and see how much volume we can get. All right, so 
I'm done blow drying my hair and this is what it's looking like. I can definitely tell that there is some volume in my hair. I can definitely tell a difference. It's not it's not extreme volume, but it's a good amount of volume. And the best part is I don't feel any stickiness or I can run my fingers through my hair. You can see like it doesn't feel like I have anything in my hair right now at all. But I do feel like I have definite more volume. So yeah, first impression is I'm liking it, but I will be testing it out throughout the week and I'll let you know my final review at the end of this video. Okay, so this last product that we are gonna be testing out is one that I am most excited for. It is the Topic Hair Building Fibers. I have already tried this out prior to filming this video because you do have to buy a color. You have to pick a color when you buy this product. So I wanted to make sure that I got the right color before I did a review on it. And I'm glad I did because cautionary tale guys, if you were buying this and you were using it, you should absolutely either put it on before you put on your makeup, before you wash your face, or be extremely, extremely careful. Because when I put this on, I just kind of like went all over with it and I noticed that I had little baby fibers all over my face and it was after I had done my makeup and it just made my face look dirty. Like it, it was not cute. So definitely I would suggest doing it before your makeup but like today I'm gonna have to be very, very careful using this because again, I already have my makeup on. It's also hard to brush off if you get it on your face. But anyway, I got this one in the color medium brown. So if you've ever used eyeshadow to fill in like thinning areas of your hair just to make it look fuller, it's the same kind of concept. So this is going to give you that color that fills in the area, but it also has fibers. So these building fibers are supposed to give you an instant fuller and thicker looking appearance to your hair. So a lot of people in the review section had a very thinning hair or balding hair, and we're using this and we're giving it rave reviews because it's supposed to fill in those thinning areas, conceal any hair loss, and then also provide thick voluminous hair for anyone who has fine hair. So we're going with mainly volume today. I do have like a little bit of, you know, areas right around here that could use some filling in. It could use some extra like extra little something something. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. And this product was around $25 when I purchased it. It has 4.4 out of 5 stars and 21,000 reviews. So there are also like little add-on products that you can get that help to concentrate this product directly into the spots that you want it to go. So if you're thinking about having this and using it often, you might want to invest in getting those too because um, yeah, it is a little bit messy, I will say that. So also I wanna mention that the fibers are supposed to resist wind, rain, and perspiration. So lucky for you guys, it is a windy, rainy day outside. So we're definitely gonna be able to put this to the test and you know, maybe I'll work out later. Who knows? So we'll definitely get a good, a full review on this product here. So you use it on dry hair and you shake into thinning areas and gently pat the hair to disperse the fibers. All right, so you see how that just filled that in for one just with the color alone. I feel like that helped just that evenness, but then you can disperse the fibers around, but I'm gonna put some more all over before I do that. All right, so you can see I have some fallout right here. Let me zoom in for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. So yeah, I would say if you're gonna use this, just use it before you put on your makeup or invest in the actual like part that helps to concentrate the product in a certain area because if not, I feel like no matter how careful you are, you're just going to get it on your face some at some point. All right, so I definitely can tell where it, you know, filled in my hairline. Definitely see some thickness. I feel thickness. That's the main thing. Like my hair just it feels naturally thicker. I will be going outside. I will be venturing out today. So I'll be in that windy, rainy weather. So we'll see how it wears throughout the day and throughout the next couple of days. And I will let you guys know my final thoughts at the end of this video. All right, final review time. So this first pick, which would be my least favorite, was a very hard decision because all in all, I like all the products, but if I had to pick one that I least liked, it would be the Topic Hair Building Fibers. And don't get me wrong, I think this works. I think it makes your hair thicker. I think it does a great job of filling in any thinning areas. And the fibers really do give your hair volume and it's different than any styling product that gives you volume, I feel. For the filling in the thinning areas, 
the eyeshadow trick does exactly the same thing and that's just using a eyeshadow color that is close to your hair color and filling in any thinning areas just to give it a fuller appearance that works the same as this so I think that it gives you a lot of volume but I think that you have to use a lot of it to get the look that I was going for and this is just like a really teeny bottle and it's $25 so that's why it's not on the top of my list I do want to mention though that the day that I wore it it was rainy and it was windy and the product did not transfer on my clothes or anything it stayed in my hair great however I noticed that when if I would scratch my scalp like I would have darkness underneath my fingernails which was pretty gross so just beware of that too that if you do scratch your scalp like it is going to come off on your fingertips so all right next we have up is the deep conditioner and I really honestly don't have anything bad to say about this deep conditioner. I think that it makes my hair look good. Every time that I've used it, it doesn't weigh it down. I like that it's very fast and simple and easy to use. It smells good and, and it's a good price. So yeah, I mean, I don't have anything negative to say about it, but out of the four products, it just wasn't my favorite, you know? Then in second place, we have the John Frieda Volume Lift Thickening Spray. I really enjoyed this thickening spray. I feel like it gives a good amount of volume, like a, a definite noticeable thickness, but it's not like an insane amount of thickness. <laughs> You know what I mean? But what I like the most about it is that it's a spray for one. I just find like it's easier to use and it doesn't leave your roots feeling sticky or weighed down or anything. Like you can run your fingers through your hair. It doesn't make that your hair stiff. So I love that because a lot of products that are meant for root boost and hair thickening do that and I don't like it. So I really like that. And then my top number one product from this video is the L'Oreal Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. Now, I did not think that this was going to be, because it's a heat spray, like it, what, how amazing can it be? But this really is amazing and it's such a good price. Like, I mean, I know I got it on a sale for like $3, but I think it's originally $5. So even then, it's an amazing price. And it really, not only is it a heat protectant, but it really does make my hair just feel softer, shinier, and just, it looks better. And it does, I feel like it does really make my hair stay straight longer and stay looking better longer. So, you know, I don't wash my hair every day. A lot of times on like day two or day three, my hair can look a little, little like not so good. It's kind of dry and it's kind of getting all like frizzy at the ends. But I noticed that when I used this, it was so much better. So I definitely, definitely recommend trying this out if you were looking for a heat protectant and yeah it's just it's awesome and it's such a good price so really any of the products that i tried out i really did love and i do recommend so that is going to do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you found it helpful if you would like to see more of me reviewing amazon top selling products please leave that in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and I would love to do that for you. I already have been looking into the top selling beauty products and I actually have a lot of them already. So I definitely have some opinions on them. So I would love to do a video like that for you again. So let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing before you leave. I would love to have you join the fam. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.